In this quick tip, I'll show you three ways to crossfade audio in your show soundtrack. When you crossfade audio tracks, you're simply blending two songs together, making one song fade out while the next song fades in at the same time. The most common way to crossfade audio is to use the Timeline view. You can access the Timeline view by clicking the Timeline tab just above the slide list, or by pressing the Tab key on your keyboard. Once open, if you need more room to work with your audio, just click the top of the slide list and drag it up to expand the work area. As you can see, in this show I have two tracks, and when these tracks meet in my show, the first will play until it ends, before the second song begins. To crossfade these tracks, first, I'll select this track on the right. Next, I'll press and hold the control key on my keyboard, then click and drag this track over to the left. Notice that as I move these tracks, the colors blend together, which helps me see where these two tracks overlap. Now if I were to play this show right here, both of these tracks would play at full volume at the same time, and that probably wouldn't sound very good. So let's blend these together by adjusting the fade values. Let's start by adding a fade out to the first track. Select the track in the timeline. Now click and drag this blue border over to the left. As you drag, you'll see how the volume changes from 100% down to zero. You'll also see this fade out indicator, which shows us the duration of the fade. Now let's do the same to the second track, only this time we'll click and drag the blue border over to the right to apply a fade in. Now we can see where these tracks overlap and how their volumes gradually blend together. The second way to apply a crossfade is by using the soundtrack options. Just double click on the soundtrack to open the options window. Let's start by adding the fade values first. In the soundtrack list, I'll select track 1. Now over here in the track settings area, I can either use the slider to adjust the fade out, or type in a specific length if my show has more precise timing needs. Now I'll select track 2 and set the fade in time. The next step is to make these tracks overlap. To do that, in the offset box, I'll add a negative number. By using a negative value, I'm telling Pro Show to start playing my track this many seconds before track 1 ends. Now I'll click OK to apply the changes and see how this looks in the timeline. Just as before, we can see the tracks overlap and the volume for track 1 is reduced while the volume for track 2 increases at the same time. You'll come across the final way to apply a crossfade when using the wizard. When you reach step 4, you'll find the crossfade option at the bottom of the window. Simply use the slider and choose the amount of time you'd like tracks to overlap. When you click the Create button, ProShow will apply all the settings for you. Naturally, once you're done using the wizard, you can always go back to the soundtrack options or timeline view and fine tune your show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our blog and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.